What's up everybody? No Sleeves McGee here for No Sleeves No Gain. Tonight we're gonna look at a beautiful book that just came in today. Ordered it on Amazon Sunday and today is Tuesday. It was waiting for me. Always sweet. You come home, you see this box, it says Amazon, you know you ordered something and it came in. So City of Mist. Look at that cover. And look at the size of this book. <laughs> wow. That's about 500 pages worth of RPG goodness. So this game, I was a backer for the Kickstarter. That was last year. And of course, it's art like this that grabbed me. And... I have to say, <laughs> well, it's a, its own system, but when I started reading it, because while at first, of course, you didn't have that, but there's something, and still to this day, that you can get for free on their website. It's the starter set, all right? And so, of course, I read it. Um, I liked what I read, even though... I mean, part of it is powered by the the apocalypse. It's basically the the core engine of the game. Where, well, if you've never played it, you roll two d six. You add a modifier. Excuse me, modifier. Uh, one through six failure. Uh, seven through nine partial success, and ten and up. It's the full full success. This game even has a 12 and up. But how you get those modifiers, usually with PVTA games, it's a fixed number with your stats. Not the case for this game. Uh, it works with power tags, which are basically um, one word or a few words that describe something about you. So it could be uh, something like, uh, I don't know, uh, brawl, dodge, snooping around, truly wants to do good, knows every street, this type of thing. You get uh, theme books, 14, you get four theme books to start with, and for each book, uh, three tags. So you have basically 12 tags that you can, um, you know, call upon or, uh, say this applies this is relevant to what I'm trying to do like with this guy here of course brawl if he's fighting uh, that that works um, then he's got a, a burning nimbus whips that he could use in battle uh, so that'd be two tags that'd be your modifier for your role so every time you do something, you have uh, moves, and the moves cover basically everything that you might be doing in the game. So something like investigate, convince, face danger, hit with all you've got, go toe to toe. This is kind of the battle move, but also hit hit with all you've got. There's there's differences. Change the game, sneak around and take a risk those are the basic moves you've got you've got more in the full book but this is basically it and every time you you perform one of those moves um, along with the GM you MC whatever it's called uh, you decide which tag works and that will give you your power you roll 2d6 done and these tags remind me of fate and I played a little bit of fate um, when I read it, I really loved it, and then when I played it, I was, I don't know, it felt like every time, every time you did something, the player would just try to bullshit his way through using as many of his aspects as possible, and tags remind, remind me of that, so that, that left a sour taste in my mouth, I have to say. Uh, 
so yeah with the starter set you get this too just just enough rules to be able to play uh, to play this game to try it out because you get two uh, two sample uh, adventures with it and then for the playset you get all these here all right these are the I wouldn't call them playbooks because you don't create the character it's just like a pre-gen so you've got this beautiful artwork here it's actually a full poster thing right okay with a description and then on the inside you've got the how to play with all the moves right and at the bottom that's basically your character sheet every theme book the purple is the mythos and the beige ones are the logos so lo logos are the ones that describe your character um, the mundane part of it while the mythos is the supernatural part so you get uh, one two three four five six and seven like this okay seven pre-made characters uh, like I said you can get that stuff free uh, in digital format to to get this that was like a I think $25 add-on on the Kickstarter that uh, I paid to get this because I wanted to test it out play it wanted to run it for con on the cob that we went to last year but um, didn't work out <coughs> which is fine still run it eventually so I had, a, I had a good grasp of it and like I said the fate part of it and then yeah. don't like it all that much but so now I got this full book and I mean just just for the freaking artwork it's uh, it's something else let's see let's uh, let's pick up a couple ones here all right so yeah this game is basically think uh, Jessica Jones or uh, Daredevil on Netflix the series so it's kind of noir uh, detective kind of RPG uh, I struggle with this uh, this big tome here so I mean you you decide what your what your group does if they're vigilantes or whatever and then you go on to uh, all those adventures okay. beautiful layout too clean uh, mostly black on white uh, it might be a bit too much different font types and that type of thing which is kind of distracting um, makes it I don't know kind of hard to read at times I think comic books of course so it feels like a comic book pretty pretty cool pretty cool game overall um, I'm I mean I had the PDF before I bought this but I wanted it like this to finish reading it and also uh, to run it and to review it it's uh, it's easier to just hold it and show it um, I'm about 200 pages in uh, I wanted to get a handle of character creation so this isn't your traditional RPG where you roll your stats or you decide what your stats are it basically you answer a bunch of questions all right let's say you want the power of uh, subversion so it's the mythos it's one of the mythos theme books right and when you pick this theme book 
Uh, it's for s stuff like in invisibility, trickery and illusions, thievery and stealth, hypnot hypnotism and uh, subtle manipulation, hiding in plain sight, secrecy and counter detection. So you get a concept and you answer a question and this becomes your concept. Like for this one, how does your mythos hide its, its activity in the world? So it can be, it can mask or veil blank and the blank part becomes your, <coughs> basically your concept. It can secretly tamper with blank. Now once you have your concept, it's, it's easier, you, now you have more questions for your power tags. Let's say, uh, how do you use your power to distract others? That's the question, and then they give you choices. You don't have to pick any of these. But it, these are basically examples. So it can be induce hypnotic trance, beguiling boots and garb, uh, echo of my voice, bewitched absent-minded, absent-mindedness, uh, mistaken for an angel, or memory wipe. And that answer becomes one of your tags that you can later, you know, uh, use to power up one of your moves. And then you get a weakness tag that the GM can invoke, and that's basically, uh, well, it will lower your power for your move, but it's also how you gain experience. That's how you get better at what you do. Um, so th that part, I mean, I read a couple ones, uh, but it's a huge section of the book to just for the themes. And if you don't want to pass the book around because you definitely need the book to make your character, uh, you can purchase as an accessory um, theme books, separate theme books that you could pass around the table. Uh, let's see. I know you guys like artwork, All right? So we'll show some more here. I mean, look at how gorgeous that is, right? And you got different kind of artworks. I mean, obviously they needed more than one artist to illustrate a 500 page book. So you've got the main one, that in the main style that you get on the cover. And then of course you got different uh, different illustrators there for uh, other parts. Let's see, a uh, different kind of artwork. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell and it's, you might discuss it, but I don't know. Maybe that's a different guy, I don't know. Or maybe not, maybe it's the same dude. But, uh, gorgeous, there's a lot to, <laughs> To read, obviously. Oh, first time I see this one. Check that out. Holy shit, huh? This is uh, this was what you can can expect going through that whole book. Um, like I said, most of the layout is kind of plain, like black on white. But then you've got stuff that is a bit more, let's say, borderline distracting. Like you get this spread here where there's so much going on, right? You don't know where to look. You don't know what to read. Too many sidebars, maybe, at times. Get a gun like this. And and that, that yellow there, that yellow highlighter, it, it, that's not me, it, it comes like that. <laughs> There's a lot of different colors that mean different things. I forgot what they were, but they explain it, explain it at the beginning of the book. Um, fortune teller here. And it's so evocative, uh, the artwork, and it, I think that's what it should be, right? It should uh, make you 
make you work, make your mind work. See, this might be a different artist here, but not too shabby, right? It's still beautiful. So, like I said, 500 pages. It's a complete, complete book, complete RPG. Um, it's I think it's good to have the PDF so you can print out stuff like that, like the list of moves that you can give to your players. Um, the character sheets too, all the theme books, tracking cards, a lot of that stuff you can, uh, there are uh, separate downloads too on the site. Right? You can also get the accessories where you get a stack of uh, cards like this or the theme books which are quite helpful I mean this isn't a uh, you know um, maps and minis type of game um, it's more theater of the mind but that said speaking of maps so they've got something called for this game that I ordered at the same time and then it's still in its wrapper wrapping here location maps and um, I mean I'm going to try to show them as best as I can on the camera here for you guys but if you go on their website City of Mist they've got a short YouTube video where they show them and you can look at uh, the JPEGs. The only thing uh, that I'm a bit disappointed with, and I try to re reach to reach out to them on their Kickstarter, is that these maps you also get in the book. But I'm going to show you, and they're in the PDF, obviously. Right, so you get uh, so awkward. Yeah, beautiful maps like this, of like Chinatown, I think. And I think there's like ten of them. Yeah, it's, it's Chinatown. But in the book, you get one, two, three, four. You only get four in the book and on the PDF, and you don't have them in digital format any other way which sucks if you play online this would be really useful but it not available as far as I can tell they never got back to me on it so I don't know what's going on and I saw someone else on Twitter bringing this up too so son of oak if you're watching this Need this in PDF or JPEG or whatever. All right. Now, so these maps that I'm holding up for the first time, I think it's uh, 16 by 24, something like that. I think they call it A5 format, but I'm not in Europe, so I have no idea what that means. But uh, let's see here. It's about this size here, huh? You want to look at the whole thing that's a motel now if you play with minis uh, well these might be in scale actually I didn't know I wasn't sure but one inch that might be in scale so they're not very big right but you don't use don't use minis it's not a big deal uh, this doesn't take too much room on a table. You put that in the middle. Um, you can just put tokens in there to know where everybody is. You don't have to count squares in this game, that type of thing. It, it doesn't work that way. But you get a really good sense of where everything is located and artwork is gorgeous. You flip it over, now you've got the back alley. And even if you don't play City of Mist, these are some pretty awesome modern maps. And you get you get ten of those, I believe. Let's see, one, two, three, four, 
five. Yeah, you get five. Uh, well, five double sided. Let's see this one here. That one is the cabaret. Beautiful. You get you get the whole thing there. Play in there. Other other side. The dirty dive. So your dirty bar. Or brawl or whatever you want right I can't really fit everything in there but you get the idea like I said you can always look it up on YouTube to see a, a better view with no no light tricks here probably I mean the quality is uh, you know I think it's a bit thicker than the ones you might get from um, Wizards, uh, maps, kind of like that. It looks a bit thicker, but uh, yeah, I would be careful. Over time, I can imagine folding, unfolding, and all that. The crease might. Oh, well, we'll see. Uh, we have the docks. Great location, and in one of the uh, pre-made adventure, VS4 viral. There's a scene at the docks, so you could use that. Other side, from the full Chinatown. Eat a cat or a dog or something. You go to Chinatown. No, it's not racist at all. Right? Um, let's see. We've got two more. That looks like a museum. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. And it's so difficult to find maps that aren't freaking dungeons and temples and shit, right? So you got modern. The other side is what? The warehouse. You always need a warehouse, right? I paid, what, 20 20 for these maps? The whole, the whole set? I think it's yeah 20 on their site but then you have to pay shipping um, Amazon is I think 23 but you get free shipping with it so and prices might change I don't know uh, private office so you want to snoop around you need uh, you need to find some information while investigating you sneak into that guy's place you look through his files, and then someone busts through the wall, a big fight. Then uh, that's the subway, another great map. So what you get, uh, you get the actual train and with this, the seats and all that. Then you get the docks, docking place where you uh, you wait for the subway. And the tracks and everything. Great value. So that's it. I mean, I could go on for uh, for a long time on this game. There's a lot to it, but hopefully it's going to make you uh, curious about it and want to find out more. Like I said, if you're not sure, go on their website. You'll get this here for free with the with the pre-gens all of them and just with that and the two scenarios they've got in there you can test it out this little book here this booklet is like 85 pages long but it's a small format you can read it pretty fast pretty quickly if you like it and go ahead buy the <laughs> PDF I think it's 20 or 25 for the PDF like I said, the book is sixty dollars, but that's that's a hardcover, five hundred pages, good quality, good binding. Well, I just got it. You never know, right? But uh, no, it's it's good printer, uh, good paper, the the glossy type that we're all used to. Yeah, glossy. Smells good. It smells a bit different than the other books, though. I don't know why. 
but it smells brand new. So sixty dollars for this. Great, great value, I think, for sixty dollars. I mean, it's just standard, right? So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, whatever, drop it on YouTube or let me know. And uh, in a bit.